Greetings everyone. Just giving you a glimpse of my garden. Our garden is looking very sad this year. A slow start to spring and um, because of the situation happening in the world we couldn't find suckers because uh, the spring took forever to come it was more like winter to summer so um, you know we just had to try to find suckers now here we have some cabbages that seems to be doing so well and keep in mind these are going to be organic so there's no pesticide no chemicals used on these things no fertilizer just TLC if you look around the roots you're seeing grass we used to use to you know use like mulch and over here I've got my kale I cannot live without this thing it's a different variety of kale In the back there I got a tomato plant and at the far back see if I can zone in the far back I have strawberries and my kalu this is what I'm most sad about because in spring and summer I eat a lot of um, kalalu because I don't buy the one in the can anymore but when we went to get the suckers from the store um, the garden center did they, they look so healthy so we just got a few so I'm hoping that we can get some before the summer is finished so we got some color in the back there and we've got tomato plants just a few I'm not worried about the tomato plants because these three I think we have three or four trees and these could last year we had about three and we just didn't have hands the tomatoes it was so much Anyway, this is it for now. There'll be more in this corner. I'm growing some basil. I have a, I think it's a grape and blueberry to plant. They're still in the pots. But once I move the shed behind here, because I'm going to move this shed to clear the land. And um, I'm just showing off. My husband is going to be doing that. Uh, and then, you know, he's a farmer. Anyway, you know this, I'm just showing you what we got so far. In the comment section, tell me how is your gardening going, how is your farming going this year? And how is your garden looking? But that's not really what I want to talk about. I'm just giving you something, just something to look at while I do this video. And I'm going to keep it very brief. Now, uh, there is more violent upsurge in Jamaica now that things seems to be tapering off and the economy is about to be opened up again and now we see um, some police chase first ended in a police cars being overturned and then we hear that another set of police officers were um, involved in shootout which ended with two officers being dead um, condolences to their families it's it, no I just can't imagine your, your partner leaving for the day going to work and not coming home it is just so sad and so scary when you think about you know going out there and dining the the line of duty and so I want to take time to say condolences to the families of those who have lost their loved ones and you know to the police officers in Jamaica who want to protect and to serve and you know put their lives on the line every day we can't thank you enough now I also want to say something now because you know sometimes when you, we see these kinds of crime we, we think gangster rightfully so uh, but sometimes our mind you know don't understand that when we see these things whether on the news or we hear it through whatever source of information that brings the news to you you automatically go to the point where you're thinking about the little poor ghetto guy or the little poor guy in the in disenfranchised communities doing this you need to get your mind out of that place because what i saw there had nothing to do with just some little guy over in some ghetto because those kinds of rifles those kind of arm you know that you see in the country has to do with money has to do with wealth has to do with power 
and I don't just think the way some people do so when I see that you know first thing I'm saying wow those officers left the scene to go towards maybe a tip maybe they were brought into a trap someone told them to come or alert them or you know someone knew that they were planning or to go on a particular heist and notified the ones who waited for them the car turned over we assumed that they were just chasing criminals and turned over that could have been an ambush someone could have known about what the police officers were about to do and uh, meet them somewhere and run them off the street or the road then when you see that kind of um, response in terms of uh, them dealing with criminal elements and people dying you have to think that the persons who did that are not some little guy in the ghetto who's hungry this is an organized crime and organized by people with money so you can't exclude anyone including officers including army including powerful people in the country so these folks lost may have lost their life because folks are saying you're interfering in our business especially if you're not a dirty cop then these guys are want to, going to want to get rid of you remember when you're thinking about criminality and criminal elements you have to look in every circle including the ones who are there to protect and to serve sorry to say so i'm not in any way blaming this and saying that oh you know it's caused from inside i'm just saying we have to have a a, a, a view that 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 goes 360 degrees and in order to eliminate crime and violence you have to be able to do real good investigator in, investigation so i want the police officers who are in charge of this case to take a look inside and outside to get your your dots connected and don't just have a simple view of what just happened because if this is where jamaica is heading where police officers vehicles are going to be turned over and people dying you got to think like a gangster and a lot of clues are given in some of these movies that we watch and you better believe that individuals are going to take it as lessons so what you see there if that's where jamaica is heading we are in big trouble and I, let me take that back jamaica is already there that's why we are seeing it and it can only get worse but also too when you create a police state where i say where, what i mean is that when when the place becomes so violent when you are seeing these kind of arms you have to start thinking about trafficking that is drugs you know that's guns these how are these guns coming into the island how when we have customs you know so this thing is bigger than you want to think and i'm tired of the man who or the man or woman who is at the bottom always seen as the problem you see when you when you read some of these comment section the first thing they go for is a little poor person because it got it's like you don't care to know that the corruption is so deep and it's so wide and so intense that's not a, a drive-by kind of thing that is organized and the roots are deep and it's not just Jamaicans that are involved in that remember we live in a global community and people have hits on people from all around the world so those officers might have been taken out by people you would least suspect that stuff was like something in a movie so keep your eyes open keep your ears open listen 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 and observe and until you have the mind that is like a moving camera you're going to miss all the pieces and you're going to end up going to blame all the wrong people all the time Jamaica I love you I love you I love you but <laughs> what I saw there was war stay blessed everyone